Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Kimmy and today I have a huge clean will be about to happen. So if you need some cleaning motivation, you came to the right place. Also, I want to share a couple of comments from some previous videos. I like to do that. I, I was doing it at the end of my videos, but I figured for those of you that are new, I would share it at the beginning just in case you don't watch the whole video. <laughs> but um, Gina said, yay, so excited for more frequent videos. Your videos truly inspire and motivate me. That is so nice of you to say. Candace said, hello, Kimmy. I'm new, love watching your videos. Also, I love sour cream on everything. So hello, sour cream sister. Uh, Jan said, so inspirational. Uh, new to your channel, you motivate me. Keep on keeping on and I will. So, so many of y'all leave comments. I am beyond blessed to have so many comments and I do spend a good portion of my day responding to pretty much all of them, even the negative ones. <laughs> So, we're going to clean the entire house. I may be in a few different outfits because we are going to start today and we will finish when it is finished. So, a lot of y'all loved my one hour clean with me and this video is probably going to be also an hour long, if not longer. So, I hope you stick around and maybe partly through this video you will feel like getting up and cleaning with me. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. <laughs>
gon' gas you up like Petro Just trying to take your way up with a jet go But you didn't notice that Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that Work now, play later But you keep going off on me Keep texting like it's all on me Yeah, you're all in my head like You're my forever, not for right now My day one, you hold me down Hard cold like the winter time Fight for your love, can't slow me down Don't go far I take me and you over living large Know I'll be there whenever you are Cause you shine bright like You shine bright like a shoe and star Me 
tainted to the core So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like you But I keep crashing back
crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. dishes done I got the living room cleaned up now I'm back in the kitchen my dishes are pretty much dry so I can put them away and I'm going to totally take off all of the stuff in the kitchen so that I can really clean the counter scud and back behind the counters the walls 
the window frame so this is like a deep clean I know it's not spring but most of my videos are ahead of season so is it any different no so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into that I'm sorry I haven't been too chatty in this video but I'm really focused on getting this stuff done so I hope this is inspiring y'all even without all the chattiness
this is a workout y'all okay I'm, I basically started for the top and just working my way down and then when I get to the bottom I use this also I do need to clean those off <laughs> I sprayed everything you know man I started coughing all right but down here y'all see that grime it's just like grease and you know stuff like that I've got oh I've got to clean it there's it's just like you forget to do those things and also it's super awkward to get down there this thing doesn't even work so honestly I just don't even want it in here I don't know how to take it out I'd have to ask Aaron but it doesn't work but <sighs> grind be gone
my hands feel on your body We were dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling
carried away. And it might have slipped back to what it was. But I do believe that it gained a lot of self awareness. Just touch my face, it's gross. Between 
the living room and just a little bit of deep cleaning I did in there and here like I'm sweaty I'm tired I'm ready for some pizza I'm so excited so I'm gonna put my kitchen back together now and then we will see each other tomorrow but don't leave because it's today it's the second video I'll see you tomorrow but you'll see me in two seconds So as you can see, we are in my bedroom today. Also, this camera picks up all this. I just wiped off the counter, as you can see. But the fronts of these look pretty bad. But, uh, <laughs> do I even need to say anything? Do I even need to tell you what we're doing right now? <laughs> I'm going to pull all this stuff out. And my plan is to leave Aaron's work tops. In this drawer and everything else can be on a hanger because he doesn't reach for it as often and then same thing with all this I gonna leave all of his work pants and like long johns in here so it's easy for him to get to in the morning and then all the other stuff that doesn't need to be in here take it out and I also have a drawer drunk drawer, drawer down here with just junk and my plan is to just take all the junk out. I'll probably do a Dollar Tree trip uh, sometime this week. So that may be a video soon of me just putting these, like taking things that go in together and putting them in little buckets like this. And probably storing them in my office somehow. 
I swear y'all, my office becomes a, it's basically like a storage unit, but I have done my best, as y'all saw before in the one hour, other one hour video, to organize it, so I will do the same with this stuff. I'll just try to organize it the best I can and put it in there, so y'all will see that sometime later, because I have a few more drawers like this. <laughs> that need to be going through. So I'm gonna free up this drawer and I'm gonna vacuum all these drawers out when I get everything out of them. That way I can organize a little bit better in here. So let's get to it.
so this is where the big dresser was in our room so here's all the clothes I took the clothes off the door and some of Aaron's work clothes that need to go back in that drawer are on the bed some are just on the dresser anyways y'all know we're in the process of like making things look better in our home so I know you can see some ugliness right now and I'm just gonna be real with you I'm gonna show you up close um, what we have going on so I've already vacuumed this corner so this is not dust <laughs> this is mule dew so I got some cleaning products to get rid of this and a lot of different types of scrubby brushes I'm about to show you and we're gonna see if we can get this off I just want to do this today um, cause I can really easily throw the clothes back in the drawer and then put some clothes in baskets if I need to, but I really want to get this hard work done right here so you can see. It's just a lot of mildew and that's what happens. I think one, it's cause we live in a single wide trailer and there is, you know, sometimes you get moisture problems. So this is another reason why I want to move our bed away from the wall and more in the middle of the room. Um, so that when stuff like this starts to happen, I can get to it a lot faster and I don't have to worry about something like this. So, whew, that is what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up uh, uh, the progress. So that's why I wanted to show you the before and now I'm going to get to scrubbing. So let's get to work. So I forgot to show y'all what I got. Chloe's outside barking. So I got heavy duty scouring pads. I didn't realize I'm kind of in the corner over here. I got a scrub daddy. Got mean green mildew destroyer. This is for bathrooms, but we've used it on the walls before too. So I'm gonna use that. If that doesn't do the trick, Erin also picked out this Lime Away. Um, it says it also removes stuff. And we're I'm going to use this in our bathtub because it's kind of yellow looking. I think, excuse me, I think the bathtub is supposed to be white. And I also got this right here and gloves because I really do not want this stuff getting up underneath my fingernails. So I'm wearing gloves and I'm ready to scrub. Like, this is not a normal clean with me video. This is, we're really cleaning more so the house than picking up stuff, if that makes sense. So, I'm gonna get into this. Do y'all hear Aaron in the background? Like, maybe you should just pop in the video, Aaron, because they like seeing you a lot. You can say hello. I did share with him all the comments of y'all saying that he did a good job. Say hi. Hello, everyone. You gotta get closer because you're so quiet. Yeah, the cameras never pick up my voice. <laughs> but we got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, you look like this, like a motorcycle rider right now, and which is not gonna happen, okay? Unless he was single. Uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> y'all let y'all's husbands on motorcycles let me know also that's kind of a sexist thing for me to say i'm very aware that women do motorcycles too i'm not one of them okay i don't even get on a dirt bike i think i've gotten on a four-wheeler before but i go like literally maybe three miles per hour i don't get out of first gear <laughs> isn't that true i don't get out of first gear no. yeah so i don't take risk okay Anyways, okay, we're gonna clean now. Don't wanna sleep tonight at all. Just wanna watch them stars fall. But you don't wanna try to make up dreams just to be seen. I wanna lay here beside you, oh quiet Fire 
I'm assuming of like a white or an eggshell over a like a fuchsia color like you can see it really good down here and that's why now I'm realizing that we have these weird pink scratches it's where we have scratched the wall and removed the regular paint like you see over there sorry it's not focusing you see over there that pink I just thought, I didn't know how that got there, but it's, it's where we have scratched up stuff, moving things around. So yeah, and what's weird is like, the wall does still look dirty because that dark color is up under there. So don't worry, um, I don't think I showed y'all the sponge mop, but I got a sponge mop so that I can just, you know, spray the mop. With maybe some Dawn dish soap and water and wash where I can't reach. And Erin got me a step ladder or a stepping stool, sorry. Um, but I still, you know, have things around here that I need to do. Um, I am going to end the video here and I will have multiple cleaning videos this week y'all know me every day is always a cleaning day for us um over here so 
you will see progress you know probably this whole year you will see progress of stuff so what I'm gonna do now is read a comment I don't know if I did that at the beginning of this video so I'll go ahead and read a comment from one of y'all now but I do want to say am I embarrassed by that am I ashamed of that no I knew that I pick and chose what things I clean and I let things that I were out of sight get way behind and I feel like the reality is there are a lot of people that have the same thing happen. So, no, I'm not ashamed. Do I want to change it and make it better? Because I know that I'm capable of doing that? Yes. So, this is for anyone that ever feels ashamed of something in their home. Do not be ashamed. Because we all come from different walks of life and I know that no matter what your walls look like, it just matters what's inside your heart. It does not matter what your walls look like. You can have the ugliest walls, but if you have the kind heart, that is all I care about. So, I just want y'all to know that. And so, yeah. I may get some ugly comments about our wall, but you know what? There's good and bad, and I take the good. You know, so let me read a comment. So this, this cracks me up. I never read negative comments to y'all because I want my channel to be a positive place. I actually do think I did read a comment of someone that said lazy and that was just cause I wanted more context. <laughs> but this is just what I was talking about sitting in the floor. Melissa, okay, said, and here's the thing, I tell people to leave comments because I read them in the next video. So if you leave a negative comment, you never know. It might pop up and backfire on you. <laughs> but she said, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. And this was in my mobile home tour, which has, I think, around 4,000 views. And the majority of y'all have said you appreciate me just showing you the reality of what it is. Um, so that's, I take that. That's the good. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. Surely you must have more goals in life than green countertops and a double wide. So, no. And I'll tell you why. I'm not a materialistic person. Yes, y'all see me shop at Hobby Lobby and Dollar General and pick out cute things. Yes, I have Pinterest dream boards of a fancy mobile home. Yes. But, like I said before, I... You, if you really want the truth, this is how I feel. My spirit in me is here on this earth temporarily. This is not my permanent home. This body is just what holds my spirit. So, I choose to, I don't know how to say this. I choose to live by the spirit instead of by the flesh. So would my flesh like me to live in a wonderful two-story house, brick walls, all this, st or, you know, stone walls, earth, a, um, what do you call it? Stucco. I love Spanish homes. Would my flesh want me to live in a nice $500,000 Spanish stucco home with the arched doorway? Of course. Would my flesh want me to make a million dollars a year? Of course. Does my spirit want that? No. I do not store up treasures here on earth because I my rewards are in heaven. So that is how I choose to live and I feel good about living that way. And the funny thing is I love my grand counters. A few of y'all have asked if we're going to update the kitchen and the answer is no. There is some damage by the air conditioner but aside from that I love my grand countertops I love my flower wallpaper and I love my like cherry brown color cabinets in there so we'll not be touching that um but we take the bad with the good so let's read a good comment uh let's see so let me okay Brenda hi Brenda I love you <laughs> she's one of my older friends from reselling she said your bathroom looks amazing, Kimmy and Erin. Nice to see Erin in the video, not just walking by, but actually talking to us. It definitely makes it look bigger. So, uh, we painted it white so it does look bigger. 
that video will be at the end of this one if y'all want to go check it out but yeah i hope this video was encouraging to y'all i'm never not going to show you the truth of what our house looks like and i hope that just opens a door for a lot of you to realize that it does not matter what you start out in okay i started out in a one bedroom apartment the walls were nice the carpet was nice but it was so tight. But you know what? It was my home. So that's what matters. It does not matter what your house looks like. It matters how you are and how your behavior is as a human being. Because when I go out to the grocery store, nobody cares what my house looks like. They care that I'm a respectable person. So that's how I take life. And I just choose to show kindness instead of showing negativity so i did share that comment but it was more of a a teaching moment than a oh just look at this comment and how rude this is i pray for those people honestly okay so <laughs> i hope y'all like this video you will see me tomorrow we'll probably be right back in this room continuing our work in the walls and getting all these clothes together i'll probably put away some of these clothes without filming it but you will see more of this tomorrow, so bye. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.